Hey Changemakers, Holly Rustic here, founder of We Go Grants and grant writing and funding podcast. Okay, so today we are looking at GuideStar and GuideStar is a great place um, and you can really access a lot of it for free. Um, you do have to sign up and become a member, but it is free for a lot of the different things. And of course you can pay to up level, but you can really get a lot just up out of the free membership. So this is a great place to find foundation grants and it's also a great place to have your your nonprofit listed. And you may not even know it, but you could be listed on GuideStar because they just kind of data mine and get information. <clears throat> Excuse me, based on your you know your EIN and your different filings and blah blah blah. So, anyways, um, this is a place also where foundations may go to check out nonprofits who actually solicit them for grants. They might say, okay, we got your grant application, now let's go ahead and go into GuideStar and let's really see what you got because there's a lot of information that can be seen. So this, what you see behind the screen here is GuideStar.org, so that's where you can come and this is what you're going to see when you land on the page. Of course, if you're not a member yet, you would have to sign up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to see how can you really utilize this to find good matched foundations. Okay. So here I'm just going to say Alaska, we'll look for Alaska, right? So we'll go to the search, it'll bring you up and you can see there's different things here, um, different products and that sort of thing. So it's going to bring up um, the different foundations and the different nonprofits. So right away, let's say um, Campfire Alaska, this actually looks kind of cool. Let's just click on this. Um, so it's going to bring you to basically like a landing page or a portfolio. So what you can see, let me just move that so you can get the whole thing. They have a mission. Their mission statement is right here. It's listed out. So this is great. Um, they're really near their CEO. So this is wonderful. Sometimes they'll have their board chair listed, their EIN. Um, they have their address, what the different areas that they focus on, keywords, core values. I mean, this is, they have it really um, well developed. They have their location. So you can see how beneficial this would be for a foundation to come and look at them and say, okay, you know, they sounded like a good organization, but let's see if they're really, they have some credibility. So they would go here to check you out. And you can see they have different affiliations, memberships, awards, um, their financials are included here. That's huge, right? They have a balance sheet. Like, this is great. And this can all pop, be populated for you with your information. So it really gives, they, they filled this out really well. But oftentimes, different, and they look at they have a silver seal of transparency. Like, that's good. Like, a nonprofit would be, or sorry, a foundation that would come here to say, okay, we're considering funding Campfire Alaska. And now we've come here and you know what? Wow, they have a lot of credibility, like they've won awards and they have all their, their mission statement. They really have their stuff together. So they might be really a lot more competitive in receiving that grant versus somebody else who doesn't have any of this filled out. So let me show you what that would look like. So this will just take a second here. Okay, so let's see. Um, and you can kind of tell sometimes based on the amount, I'm not sure. If we'll find one exactly that's not filled out. These are actually all really good. You can see just comes with the money is a lot of times we'll have nothing filed, so it's at zero. But a lot of these actually do look pretty good. Um hmm. but let's just try it. So I'm just picking random things. <laughs> okay, and they have something, but you can tell right away it's not as robust as the other one. They do have their mission. Uh, if they don't have their mission listed, I'll just say this area is blank or something like that, and it does not look good. It kind of reminds me on Twitter, you know, like if you signed up for a Twitter profile, but you've never put a picture, and then it's like the egg that's cracked <laughs> as your profile image. So they don't really have anything listed here. They don't have, yeah, basically they're saying there's not much information. So if they were competing, so say Alaska Public Service Employees was competing with Campfire Alaska, um, they both had okay proposals and then the, the foundation came here to GuideStar to say, hey, let's see which one has more credibility. Campfire definitely does, right? All right, so how can you find foundations though? So I'm just showing you on the organization nonprofit side why this is good to have and also on trying to find good foundations. Well, if you went through here, because foundations are also listed, 
and you found, um, I actually already clicked on one, so we don't have to load, Alaska Char Educational Fund Incorporated. So when I clicked here, I was like, okay, what do they do? So they're here to encourage and assist qualified persons in developing a career in the Alaska hospitality in industry through financial assistance, et cetera. So this is great information to know. So I might say, okay, this is an educational fund, so they have money. They're not necessarily, I mean, they could be a nonprofit still, but um, they're, you know, they're actually giving some monies out. So I want to find out more information because I do this sort of work that's mentioned in this mission, my nonprofit does. But are they a good fit? So I would say, okay, first off, what's fantastic about GuideStar is immediately I know who the principal officer is. There's a connection straight away. I have the address. And through this, I can probably find the phone number or if I'm in Anchorage, I can actually drop by and I would have a point of contact instead of starting my foundation application with to whom it may concern, right? No, 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 don't do that. Find a person, try to develop a relationship. Now, the other thing that I absolutely love about GuideStar is here, your 990s, all right? So 990s, look at this, this is awesome. They even have one for 2017 listed, which is great. Some people are still in 2016. Um, so you can just click that and then it'll download, but I've already done that for us. And I've gone, so basically, <clears throat> this is what it looks like when you open it. Oh, no, it's gonna take time anyways. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So you're going to get their 990s, what they have to file their financials every year. And this is public information. So I'm not doing anything illegal here. This is totally public. Um, and it's really interesting, actually. So I'm able to see everything. I'm able to see the number of volunteers, the contribution and grants. I'm able to see what their salaries are, you know, everything, their assets, um, their mission again. So they have their mission listed. Um, and what's also great too is I had mentioned board members, so I'm just scrolling through here because we're not going to go through all of that. And I have the names of all the board members right here. And you say, might say, Holly, why is that important? Well, if I'm already in Anchorage, Alaska, I've had my nonprofit for a while, um, I'm going to pull my board in and I'm going to say, do you guys know any of these people? <laughs> right? So right away, I'm going to start with, let's start with networking. Who do we know? Does anyone know any of these directors? Do you guys know any of the board members? Because once again, foundations, it's all about developing relationships. All right, so we might find a connection here somehow. Um, so and so is related to whatever, or know somebody from somebody, so I can actually get my foot in the door to have the conversation, right, about our nonprofit. So this is actually really good information. And the other thing, I mean, you can definitely go through and see what they're spending their money on. Just, you know, is this even a foundation or an organization we want to get money from? <laughs> and then, are, what are they spending money? Who are they giving money to? That's really important. That's usually towards the end. So we see it right here. This is two pages from the end. Okay, so I'm going to see, and this is a page, it's usually back towards the end, grants and other assistance to organizations. So right here, they actually have to claim who they've given money to. They have to show it, right? Um, and what's great about that, it's not just who, or uh, necessarily the names of the people they've given money to, but it's what type of money, how much, right? And that's what I really want to know. As a nonprofit, how much am I supposed to be asking for? Because I don't know how much this organization usually gives out. They might say, we give out, you know, up to $10,000 in grants. Well, uh, that's, a, you know, do I just ask for the, should I try to go up for the top or should I see what they usually give? So this gives you more information. So they're giving, um, let's see, hospitality leaders. So you can see they're giving to the Alaska Char Future Hospitality Leaders. Um, and they're giving cash scholarships. So right there you can see that they are giving out cash scholarships. They gave out 19 recipients. The amount of the cash grant, 22500 so this is great information. I know about how much I should ask for my grant, how many they've given out, is it competitive? Um, it looks like they're giving it to one kind of place to fund, but they're giving out scholarships. So if I am trying to apply for scholarships, you know, or if I have a scholarship program, but I also have, say, a summer camp program, I'm not going to ask necessarily 
for a summer camp funding or operational funding, I'm going to ask for scholarships from this foundation because I know that they give out scholarships and I'm going to give it for what they said their mission actually does, right? The workforce training and that sort of thing. So I'm going to ask for something that does that and I'm going to ask for scholarships and I'm going to ask for about 22,000 <laughs> or whatever. So this gives you that information, which is great. It shows you, you know, how competitive you can be, and it also gives you, it fine tunes your grant application or your solicitation letter to them because now you know what they're actually giving to, how much money they're giving, what they're giving to you, who they're giving money to, and it's not just kind of broad stroke. I would know if I don't do any scholarships, I don't actually serve people in the workforce, I probably won't be competitive to get funding from them, so I'm not going to waste my time writing a grant or a solicitation letter, you know, to them, unless possibly I know one of their board members and I think it would connect somehow to my organization. So this is great information. So once again, GuideStar.org, this is how you can utilize it as a nonprofit for free, or even if you're watching this as a foundation, this is how you can check out nonprofits and really see if they're credible, um, what they actually do, what they're spending their money on, go in their 990s, etc. And you can get a good idea of how to be transparent. And like I said, this is all public information. Um, yes, it does take some time to do, but I'm telling you, if you just went out and just applied to a whole bunch of foundations and you don't really know this information, you don't know deep information about them like this, you're going to spend more time soliciting like a million different organizations than just taking the time and finding, you know, the several that fit, you know, the 10 foundations I'm going to go after this year that are the best matched. You're going to have a higher propensity of actually winning those grants, grant awards or getting corporations or foundations to give to your nonprofit just by taking the time to do this. So if you have any other questions, please reach me. <clears throat> Once again, I'm at grantwritingandfunding.com. You can find me there. And we have a podcast, and we also have great free resources and grant templates, all that fun stuff for you. My name is Holly again, and please subscribe to the channel if you're liking this information.